But just because you're hungry, just because you're in need, doesn't mean that God doesn't care. You may be in great need right now. He sees you, he knows your need, and he cares. Look, look what it says in verse three. It, Jesus said these words, if I send them home hungry, come on, say it with me, what? They will faint along the way. When I was a kid, we lived in Colorado, and because of the altitude, if I, if I would stand up too quick, I would black out, and I would face plant into the carpet every single time. So I had to be so careful. Can I tell you, God doesn't want you to face plant, nor will he let you face plant. God is, God is there for you. Jesus says, I will not let you faint along the way. He will provide the strength you need for the journey. Turn to somebody, encourage them right now, and say, God is providing what you need. God is providing what you need. But it may not look the way you think. See, we, we are focused on physical needs. That's all we're thinking about is, is the physical. But God, he cares about so much more than that. God cares about your heart, your soul, your mind, and your body. He, he wants all for you. He wants, he wants to meet all of your needs. Just in this past week, talking to different people, you heard Marion Snowbarger. Marion, I know you're watching right now in your neighborhood gathering and you have really been a testimony to your group and to our body. I mean, losing, losing your wife 65 years. And Lauren, I, like we're halfway there. I don't even imagine what that loss is like for you, but you just shared so beautifully that what God has provided for you is the presence of his grace. His grace has been present. Last week, we talked to Josh and Courtney Korn. Josh, who had to go through his second brain surgery, cancer rearing its ugly head again. But, he, but over and over again, they talk about the presence of God's peace in the midst of that. I was talking to uh, Todd Guy. Todd lost his job last year in the middle of uh, the economic downturn, still does not have a job. When I was talking to him, Todd is in his neighborhood gathering right now. Todd said, I feel like, Brad, I'm playing dodgeball. I'm getting hit from everywhere. But he talked about how the presence of God's compassion and love has been so close to him. The intimacy he has experienced with God has been so powerful. Write this down. The greatest gift that God provides is not his provision. The greatest gift that God provides is not his provision. It's his presence. The greatest gift that God provides is not his provision, it's his presence. 